Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle. And uh, we just met uh, Madame Rostrella, or whatever her name is. Rostrella. Yeah. And uh, we actually went back, we grinded a little bit with uh, some money, and we actually forgot to show you guys and gals where there's some uh, chests and some other secrets. So before we get to Ooh. the last part of this uh, level, uh, we are going to show you guys where some chests are. Mostly for just 3D models and stuff like that. This but level looks so cool. It's all carnival-y <laughs> and stuff. It's very carnival-y. It, it's like, it's a, um, what do they call it? Uh, a trap, well, it would be a traveling carnival. Yeah. Like a sideshow. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, it definitely looks like one of those. And you can't what? use this stuff yet. It kind of reminds me of that one Marvel game we did where we had that carnival level, uh, and we had... Like, oh my gosh, I'm trying to remember what game that was. Marvel game? Mmm, <sighs> yeah, we were playing the X-Men and different Marvel characters together. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 1 yeah, or 2. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that was cool. And then they had that hammer thing that uh, Hulk would hit and stuff. That was cool. So, uh, before going to the next level, if you guys uh, come to this area, you get not only more power gems mushroom. or power orbs, but there's also a mushroom, so if you are low on health, uh, before the next battle, which actually can be kind of intense, uh, you can come here, use the mushroom, and be back up to full strength. Nice. Now, how we came back up to full strength is we went back to Princess Peach's castle and we grinded some money because you don't really get that oh, much yeah. money here. Actually, when you go back and you grind for money on lower levels, um, your health refills, doesn't it? As yes. you as you beat the levels, mm -hmm. like if you do it well. As soon as yeah. you go back to Peach's Castle, you get full health anyway. Oh. So we just increased okay. uh, Mario's run back damage. So we're going to do some stuff with uh, Ouija Rabbit, and let's give him. Oh, that's good to know. So. If you have trouble, you know, keeping your health up, then just go to Peach's Castle in between, like... In between couple, levels. Don't, don't do it episodes. right before you start a level, because then you'll have to play then it all over again. you have to go all the way back and yeah. figure it out how to get there. Yeah, because you have to do all those um, different mini, like, uh, puzzles and stuff to get into the level. Yeah, but sometime which... based on how long a level is, you have the opportunity of having it save midway through. And you can go oh, and get some health and stuff like right. that. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so let's go with. No, well, not team jump. Don't have enough for that. Oh, this is kind of like cool music. <laughs> Very Luigi's Mansion like now. Um. Okay, so Luigi. Sounds like Home Alone. Is full like uh, round to whatever attack. Oh yeah. Yep. And we gave him some more coins for when he gets perfect golden shots. <laughs> I like the, I like the little icon they have for the 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 bunny that's afraid. Like, oh no, he's gonna get me. He's like, ah, <laughs> with the uh, when you upgrade the ground to or the, the higher ground to lower ground attack. That's mm -hmm. hilarious. Everything in this, even like the little icons are hilarious. Like, it's just everything is really funny. Everything about this game is hilarious. Okay, so now I think we're ready to uh, tackle the last part of this level. I mean, who would ever think that you could play an XCOM-type strategy game and smile the whole time? Because usually when I play strategy games, I'm not smiling. I'm, like, all Rage. intense. Yeah. yeah, I'm raging or, or I'm getting anger out, aggression. <laughs> this all right. can get aggression out and smile. Yeah. So we have to defeat eight enemies here, and this level can be kind of crazy if you're not using the uh, right team. So our team for this one is Mario, Rabbid Ouija, and Ouija. And we're going to bring Ouija up uh, to that area right there because that's a perfect sniping spot. Okay. Which is going to do, like, triple the damage for these fools because we have Luigi maxed out for his, uh, you know, vantage point attacks. Yeah, let's waste these fools. So, first thing we're going to do, Mario power! Alright, yes. alright, I'm learning K-Wing. Yes! You're eventually gonna, like, uh, subliminally, like, get your fighting style into my head. I'm gonna get my uh, fighting style into everybody's head. Alright, <laughs> next up, we are going to hit this guy on our way out with Mario. And Actually, Luke, no, wait. And I know the reason Vampire. Luke, Luke does that at the beginning, because that's the only time you're really gonna be next to each other. Yep. Is at the first time, so it's best to get that power done at the beginning. That way you can get as many hits in as possible at the very beginning. Now, because there is a sniper ghost or a peekaboo, we need to make sure that uh, what's his face, Ouija, Mar or Ouija, 
uh, Luigi is covered because with a sniper, it's about 50-50 that they can hit you because you have that black uh, protection. Oh, right. Yeah, that's like an unbreakable block, but it's only 50%. Right. Yeah, whereas the brick ones are not are breakable. Totally. Now we're going to have Mario do a run back of 60. He's going to jump, which is going to do 70. And we have a nice little setup right there. So if we shoot him, it's going to be... He'll be past a 220. But we're actually going to um, have... Because uh, we have to be careful. Hey, kicking him. Yep, kicking, then jumping, and getting right up here. <gasps> oh, nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. That's awesome. Here I go. How did you plan that? I just did. Now, see, that is doable. But at the same time, we have a pesky guy we have to get rid of, the sniper. Because he can reach everybody down there. The game gives, like, a clear disadvantage to you. Okay. So we're actually going to draw this guy's fire. So if somebody has to take a hit, it's going to have to be uh, Ouija right here because we actually have to get rid of that sniper, like... Yep. But, uh... Well, if it was me, I'd probably take... I mean, I'd be afraid, but I'd, I'd take that guy down with Ouija, but you're probably gonna do something more brave. This wasn't really brave. I mean, somebody had to take the hit, and it had to be this guy. Theodore! So Theodore took the hit, and now Mario's gonna save him. Boom. And if you guys don't know why we're calling him Theodore, I mean, look at him. He he's, looks like Theodore. He's Theodore from the Chipmunks. Hello, that's up, man. <laughs> uh oh, I didn't count on double the fun! Oh! Alvin, Simon, Theodore! And. Uh, yep, they're gonna use the sniper now. <laughs> so, we had two things we could have done. We could have used the bazooka to take this guy out because he only had six damage. Yep. Or, we could have uh, taken out one of those beastie guys. See? No but damage because he was hit behind the Theodore. black thing. Theodore! Theodore's gonna be okay. How will he be okay? Look at that big guy next to him! Because Theodore has the ability to steal health. Oh yeah, he's, he's a the only character on our team who can actually take enemy health. I like health. that. I like that power. It's cool. Mm -hmm. You know what I am getting used to though, but I haven't really played a lot with Rabbit Mario. Is the power where he can sing and bring enemies out of their cover. That's pretty cool. But yeah, I love the vampire ability on Theodore. Yep. So next up, Bazooka to Sniper. Bye bye. See? It's gonna do 60 nice. damage even though he was hidden behind that object because it's not a guarantee. That. If I was a character in this in this game, I would be Theodore, I think. Mm -hmm. He's got a bazooka and he's a vampire. It basically fits my personality perfectly. Yep. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is we need... I know see. who you would be, Kaylee. Yep, hang on. Okay. Trying to think. So we're gonna snipe this guy for 186. Snipe. He's angry. Yep, he is angry. And uh, we're going to need to move Luigi out of harm's way because these guys can get in the pipes, which is not going to be fun. What? 75 damage goes to you. Bye bye Well, how do they fit in the pipes, though, with that giant, like, thing on their back? Uh, it's just, it's best not to think about it. I, I mean, don't understand. It's not logical, Captain. It's not physically possible. <laughs> Whatever, and we're gonna bring Mario uh, right up here to the unbreakable it. cover. And for Luigi, we're gonna put him on Overwatch. Luigi. And we're gonna move Luigi right here. That way he has a better uh, view, or we can move him right here. Mm, decisions. We're gonna go right there because oh just in case that guy gets up in the pipe, he still only has the ability to move four squares, so he won't be able to get Ouija where he is. Oh, that's good. And we got the critical... Oh, there we go! The brothers! Booyah! And Ouija finishes him off. Mm. Now, they're nice only doing job. 75 damage, though, which... I need to find a way yeah, to increase to their Overwatch. Upgrade the Overwatch hit points. Mm -hmm. Okay, what are you guys doing? Okay, I see what you guys are doing something yeah, crazy. I went back and I reset my Rabid Peach's upgrade stuff, and I upgraded all her health stuff, but then I realized, oh my gosh, I couldn't upgrade. She has no little, like, thing to send out, like her little robot uh, helper thing that she sends out a machine. That's so, so, yeah. There's a peekaboo coming. 
So that's a sniper. So oh, okay. right now our weakest character is Rabid Ouija. So we're going to need some intense cover hmm. from the sniper. And we yeah. have to hope the sniper goes for either Mario or Luigi. Because at this <laughs> point, it's all up to fate. Yeah, vampire abilities. Yeah, so it's hard to know who to upgrade, actually, or what to upgrade first, because everything has its advantages. The whole game is so complicated with so much st strategy. Very complex. All right, so yeah. we're going to get 60 hits on our way out. Unfortunately, you can't hit two uh, enemies at the same time. Yet. Or maybe yet. you can upgrade it later. And we're actually going to bring Mario... Oh, he can go into the pipe? Sweet. Nice. All right, Ooh. so we're going to get a little bit of advantage here. Yeah, yeah, and they all have a little bit of advantage, even if you don't upgrade it. They all have a little bit of advantage from shooting up high. Only problem is, though, is not everyone has as big a range as Ouija does. Nobody has a, the range of Ouija that I know of. Whoa, whoa, his range is all over. Oh, my gosh. He can almost hit the other guy in the back. So this guy's going to be pretty mad at us, but it's going to take him two full turns to get to where we are. We were cramping his style. Mm-hmm. But just in case, we're going to move right here. That way okay. we can get to the other pipe. Whoa. Yes. I'm afraid for Ouija. He's fine. He's out of the range of the sniper. And Mario has... Oh, not Mario. Sorry. I forgot we had one shot Theodore. left with uh, Theodore. So Theodore takes down the big brute. Which, in hindsight, probably should have kept Luigi up there, but oh well. We're the Mario Rapids. It's, uh, sh yeah, I should have kept him up there. Mario, Luigi, Theodore, we're the Rapids. Because uh, Luigi, his strength is being up high, not down below. Alright, I'll take that 62, that's fine. 62. Ah, you stinker, I knew you were going way over there. Uh. Alright, Team Mario, what are you guys going to do? Luigi, you need to get a pie, bro. There we go. Because him being on the ground is not not a good thing. Okay, so uh, what do you guys want to do here? We have three guys left to defeat, and we have uh, four turns so far. It's kind of intense. Uh, it's nice that that guy is playing it right along with the intense music. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. He's playing himself. He's playing his part. <laughs> what is on? Like, what kind of strings? Oh, I guess they're attached to his thorns? I don't understand. I so what What there. part is he playing? Is that is that a, like a cello part? Or because it, it doesn't look like I a think... violin part. No, he's plucking the strings. He's plucking the strings, yeah. So he's probably playing bass fiddle or bass, bass violin. Do they call it bass violin, bass fiddle? I know there's a technical term for it, but I always call it bass. Mm -hmm. Cello, bass, um, viola, violin. All right, let's move Mario here. And yeah, I think there's just there are just four string instruments: viola, violin. Bass, cello. Mm hmm. Alright, let's see how you like this. Okay. Might not have been the smartest thing. Mario, can you hit him where you are? No! We can't save Luigi! No! Oh Luigi. no! That's not good. Um, Wait, Luigi's fine. He's up there. No, he can reach that pipe. We totally messed up. Oh, really? But it's always important to, like, use your attack on every turn that you can. Alright. It's okay. Like, um... No, not gonna be okay because no. he's right there! Oh my gosh, you're right. You're right. You're right. This oh, is bad. This Luigi's is dead. Bad. Luigi's dead. Yours is very bad. Oh! Oh, six! Please don't hit me again. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Luke. This is insane. Oh my gosh. You have to get... You have to... You have to get that guy. You have to waste that fool. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> ah, perfect cover. You can't get me. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Luke. Oh my gosh. So at the start of turn five, Luigi is almost dead. And Kick we got to get out of here. We have to get out of here. Um, let's go. Kick him. Let's go here. Wait, maybe you can send somebody down and then you can jump on his head or, and then get away. Oh I don't my know. gosh. This is very bad. I'm a wiener. What are you doing? Oh, I'm using okay. my right, mobility to get out of here. 
Sorry. All right, sorry. that's death. Anywhere here is death. All right, all right. My heart is in my throat. I do not know what to do right now. It's okay. Oh my gosh. Right, so we're going to hit him on our way out, and <laughs> oh this is as far as we can oh go. Oh my gosh. That's still, it's going to be a gamble. I mean, this is. <sighs> It's really bad. This is painful. Don't shoot him. Only 126. Oh my gosh. Put somebody else in front of him. See, you could have put Mario there and then you could have jumped on Mario's head to get out. I have an idea. <sighs> I just, don't like just, this plan. I don't like this plan. Just we wait, just wait. I have, I have a plan. I just... don't think this is going to work. Yes, it is because Mario has his Mario power. Watch this. So we're going to hit this guy and we're going to get closer to Luigi and then activate Mario power. That's the plan. This is a good spot. Oh so, my boom. gosh, K-Wing, I can't do this. Oh, this could be fine. I can't see. I it's can't Mario watch. time. I can't watch. Watch. Here we go. So we're in just about a great position. And maybe, just maybe, Rabid Mario or Luigi will also get the funness. The fun has been doubled. Oh, we got stone damage. He can't move. He can't move! I don't like using stone power, it's weird. I like it because it, you know, it's basically like a honey attack. They can't move for a full turn. Oh, for one turn. For one turn, they're stuck. Mario, finish him off. Boom! Nice job, Mario. Now we just have to worry about that other guy. Oh, he's toast now, look at that. Because of Mario power, this is gonna be like 164. He only had 127, he's done. Oh my gosh. That just leaves this pesky sniper. Ouija got revenge. Yes, he did. Watch out, Ouija. You don't have any health. All right, we're going to do this in six turns. What? Yep. No way. Yep. I can't watch this. What are you doing with Ouija? He has no health. Oh my gosh. We're giving him cover. He's going to take care of that sniper for us. What? Yeah. I don't think he's in any... Oh, he's not, boo. He's boo. not meant to fight. Good job. Go put him on the sidelines. Ouija's... Oh, you're having a Ouija, you fought well, but it's it's a little too late. Uh, and yeah, we can go here. Yep. And then we should be able to use our bazooka, get Mario in a position, and uh, end this fool. Oh yep. yes. Eat bazooka, my friend. First, we'll put our shield on because we're gonna incur the wrath of Mr. Sniper up here. So that's not, mm. that's not good. And no, bada not. bing, bada boom! Whoa, bazooka time. <laughs> oh, Ouija, out of range. I can't believe you, you had a perfect shot. Oh no, he can't bounce off. If I was just a little further back, just one Whoa, square. Right. The world is so cruel. Mamma mia. Ah. Why is life so unfair? He's out of range, isn't he? Ah. Ah! Now there's really no point to having Overwatch on anyway because of the peekaboos. They don't really move like most units because they shoot and then disappear. Ow. Oh. So it they're... doesn't really count as a movement move, mm. so. They're just like spamming you. It's a waste. <laughs> Alright, so seven turns. Bah. Bah! I could have done it in six if I just had... Luigi moved back just a little bit. I think that's why the rabbits are always saying ba, because they, they wish they could have done it in less turns. <laughs> that's what they always say when they don't do as well. Ah, yeah, that would have been cool to do it in six turns. Aww, it would have been cool, Luke. It would have. It was okay. So but that is how been. you do that, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> with the weapons Good that you job. have available for you at this part. I liked it. I think you did well. Hello there. There, by the fountain. Is that a boo or is it a balloon? Hmm. Perplexing. Well, I'm going to try that level in six turns <laughs> later. Go for it. Uh, just make sure you have the characters move back a little bit. It looks like a boo balloon. It's the missing relic of goodness. Goodness it's gracious. Balloon. Let's bring it back to the pedestal. I see a shortcut down there past the fountain. Okay. You do, do you? Okay. Well, we'll oh, take advantage goodness. of that, won't we? <gasps> that door is squeak squeaky. <laughs> the door is squeaky. Why are those booze and chains? Mm, because they're the lamps. You can't 
you know, take the lamps down, how are people gonna see? Oh, they're glowing. Mm-hmm. All right, it takes me a while to get stuff sometimes, okay? Yahoo! Yahoo! Why uh, is Ouija so cute? Oh, I see what this is now. Oh, it's... Red coin. You love red coins. Oh, no, 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 I do not. What is it with you and your, your disdain for red coins? They're annoying. <laughs> they always make the first seven easy to get, and then the last one is sitting there Duh. taunting you. I don't know. It's pretty self-explanatory uh, right here. You so there's coin here. Three. Of course, you only have three, four, I and then you'll four. get to seven, and then the eighth one will be gone. No, because they're giving us a little bit more time because of the spacing Five. of these coins. Good thing they give you more Oops. time. They never give me more time. They don't like you. Seven. They told me. Oh my gosh! Boom. Oh. Yeah, well, those were easy to... They were all in the same area. <laughs> were they now, Amber? Well, I don't think I... think I would have done that quite the same as you. I probably would have... Probably not. Panicked. Panic. Ooh, so what kind of weapon do we get? Now I... No pity kitty. Scratch and claw your way to victory with this graceful blaster that for some reason looks like a cat. Ooh, I want the cat blaster. That is for Rabid Peach. So remember, gang, always hold off on uh, the really good weapons until you find the gold chest, because cool. that is how you get an advantage on the battlefield. And for whatever reason, they want us to bring in Rabid Peach, but we're actually not, because I like the team that we have. Yeah. Yeah, totally. You know what I was just thinking? I just realized why you like Ouija, and why his personality is so good to be the sniper. Mm. Because a sniper has to be cool and collected, and, and sit there and be patient, and you were the same. You're very cool and collected. I know, but Luigi isn't. Luigi's scared well, all the time. He's scared when he's in a mansion that has ghosts in it. Ghosts I, and crows. I would be too. Man, this but is... When he's, when he's in his element, he's cool. Yeah, what were you saying? I was gonna say this is kind of uh, interesting. Like he's cool and collected. The atmosphere is like very spooky. 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 I yeah. love the spooky. Actually, we already uh, uh, had a lot of people liking for spooky. Spooky. They didn't like for for the the video, but they did like for spooky. All right, so let's put the trophy here. Voila! Ooh. Our prayers have been answered. Now the moon gate should be open wide for us. That boo looks like he's, <clears throat> he's thirsty and he can't drink. <clears throat> He's a balloon. I said, voila! Are you sure that's not fuel? No, I'm just kidding. Viola. <laughs> no, it's voila, I think. It was supposed voila. to open. Why isn't it open? We did our part. We retrieved the lost relics of goodness. He's angry. Uh -oh, angry he's eyes. angry. I think. Uh, the fucker, why isn't it open? It's not fair. Why isn't it? Man, he's so angry. He made it storm outside our house. Something like that. Oh boy. Angry robot. You don't want to make robots angry or they turn into the Terminator. Yeah, no Skynet. Thank you very much. Oh, well, another door opened. That's something, right? The vines opened it, Luke. That's pretty creepy. It's very creepy. I think Poison Ivy helped open that. Great! That's the wrong gate. Maybe there's a hotline we can call or something? Yeah, a customer service agent, like, across the, the ocean that you can call. Aha! Our anonymous patron has again picked the perfect time to lend a helping hand. Dorks, you're probably feeling pretty <laughs> discouraged right now, not that I blame you. I'd be discouraged if I were you too. Wow. They called you dorks. I, I got that. <laughs> the moon gate can't be opened unless there's a full moon. Da, too bad it's gone already. Lucky for you, I know a way to get it to come back. That's really mean. I know. Why it's, would they it's be insulting? insulting? Just take the totally non-spooky oh. path leading from the gate that just opened and everything will work out just fine. And I promise you won't be killed. I promise. I don't believe that. Somebody, this is a trap. Hmm. There's something off about this last message, though I can't quite put my finger on it. Not that I have fingers. Don't trust anyone who says I promise you won't be killed. Mm, perhaps there's, uh, was more to Madame Brastrella's, uh, fortune that she let on. Perhaps someone is planning to harm us and our enigmatic ally is in the dark as we are. Interesting. Indeed. Indeed. To the gate! When in doubt, just go to the gate. For freedom! For the gate! For the gate! 
Thanks. Oh my gosh. But anyway, guys and gals, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, we're going to head and uh, do some more grinding before we go to introdu introducing the next character. Don't forget to like, Wait. comment, subscribe, and join us next time as we start our challenge series and continue the main game. God bless and happy gaming. See ya.